currently, oh, Junior's doing a poo, that's great, I'll pick that up, thanks Junior. What are we doing Lily? We're social distancing aren't we? Apart from Junior doing a poo. Let's uh, just pause that and I'll pick up the poo. <laughs> there we go. One poo, just in case you think I didn't pick it up. Come on then. A wee rabbit hole? Yeah. Lily's learning her balance bike, aren't you, Lily? Yeah. Social distancing. Funny because social distancing is what uh, positive only trainers tell you to do all the time, except theirs is called uh, avoidance. Just whole avoidance, and they call it positive. Terrible. You know, I was at a client yesterday. Um, I really feel it's poignant to say this. A, a client in um, Dunfermline. Come on, Lily. And they had had four sessions with a trainer called Ricardo. And I'm going to start naming these trainers because they're just abysmal. And uh, these clients need to as well name them and put reviews because a guy called Ricardo in Dunfermline. Um, absolutely abysmal. Another one in Sterling called Positive Some Rubbish. Positive solutions or some other rubbish in Sterling. And uh, the advice they were given they had a German Shepherd who was really easy and um, they were advised never to go around dogs, walk at times that they never see any other dogs. People come to their home, the dog would go crazy at the door. Now it just needed some direction, but they were advised no, no, go away and work on friggin' gymnastics and uh, get it a harness and avoid, avoid all dogs and put sheets up in your house uh, up against your windows black out things so you can't see outside so it wouldn't bark now this is all called positive training isn't that right Lily? that's right this positive training supposedly IMDT the most disastrous organisation out there that hit dogs and under the grass mud mud is under the grass so he uh, he advised, yep, yeah, everything is about avoidance and just don't uh, challenge anything and uh, never expect anything to change. And it's absolutely disastrous to have that. Absolutely disastrous. Positive only training. Uh, this IMDT. Absolutely terrible. So it's just, uh, this 90% of training out there is exactly like that. And these people need to be held accountable, to be honest, because the, this person had four sessions, and no, and this is the client telling me, had no success, absolutely felt abysmal, going in the wrong direction, everything, I mean, in the house, and they had, this is a very well-to-do couple, and they had, blooming, um, you know, all screens up against the, the conservatory and everything, so the dog wouldn't bark outside, or hear or see anything. So everything was about avoidance. It's just absolutely terrible. Terrible, terrible training. In fact, it's not training at all. It's absolute abuse to you and your dog. Absolute abuse. Um, so everything was about avoidance. And um, if you see a dog, turn and walk the other way. Your dog's barking, going crazy. Just walk away. When it stops, give it a treat. And this is the standard of training. It's just it's scary and terrible. Check you, Lily. Learning on your bike, your balance. That's excellent, darling. Well done. So, a couple of places to totally avoid, guys. Okay, Sterling Behaviour Solution Centre or Sterling Behaviour Centre or something it's called, and Ricardo and Dunfermline. There are two people I would advise you. Totally avoid. Stay away from them. Absolute poison to you, and they'll just take your money and never help you change. So remember that. Big difference in social distancing and. Um, and, uh, and avoiding, you know. The reality is if we don't social distance, this is the rule, we can be punished. That's right, that's why we're social distancing. Um, but if we take the punishment out of it, where there is no punishment, then uh, <laughs> people are just going to be doing what they were doing before. So guess what? Punishments are getting more severe if we don't listen to the rules. Okay, here she comes. Come on, Lily, you can do it! So that's the ironic thing, isn't it? that we are complying with the law because and why because well if we don't there's, there's punishments attached 
and uh, but we don't let our make our or allow our dogs to live in the same world. It's all just avoidance. It's terrible. It's abuse, is what it is. Total abuse. And it's ironic. And these are the one. These are the people that would call, you know, certain tools, you know, e-collars, for example, or prong collars, or slip leads, or something. Abuse. Just absolutely abysmal. You know, the the lack of knowledge is alarming. Absolutely alarming. So stay away from these people. It's all. I'm going to start absolutely naming the people that our clients have been to because other people need to know. Lily, that was awesome. Super proud of you, girl. I got a bogey. You got a bogey. Well, it just so happens Daddy's got tissues. Let's wipe your nose, eh? Say bye bye. There's everybody in the world. Wave bye bye. Are you going to wave bye bye? <laughs> it's just a video. Look. Who's it looking at me? Back to you. Me. Back to you. <laughs> Say bye bye. No, not having it. Stitch. Stitch, what are you doing? What are you doing under there? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs>